topping news tonight. New developments coming to light surrounding the government's pursuit to acquire the Grand Bahama Port Authority. Last year, the Prime Minister affirmed his administration's eagerness to procure the Port Authority and its assets if a suitable buyer is not found. But in a surprising turn of events, the chairman of the Progressive Liberal Party is revealing tonight that the Prime Minister has withdrawn the offer. The full details are in tonight's top story. You know that uh, various promises were made by the Prime Minister to advance his position that the shareholders need to divest themselves. Uh, I'm advised that that offer has now been withdrawn by the government. In a recent and unexpected twist, the Grand Bahama Port Authority acquisition saga has taken a new direction, with Prime Minister Davis withdrawing the offer to purchase the Port Authority and its assets. The development comes after Prime Minister Davis confirmed the government's willingness to pursue the acquisition if a suitable buyer could not be found. According to Chairman of the Progressive Liberal Party, the Honorable Fred Mitchell, the government has decided to take the matter to arbitration. The decision to withdraw the offer is reportedly tied to the government's pursuit of compensation for what they believe the city owners owe the Bahamas government for the services rendered. I think the prime minister is at the point where uh, dynamic must um, to move the project along to Bahamianize fully the city and to bring the city into conformity with the rest of the growth which is going on. In our country. The Grand Bahama Port Authority has long been a key player in the economic landscape of Freeport and the government's interest in its acquisition had sparked various discussions and speculations surrounding the future of the city. However, Mitchell asserts optimism that the arbitration process is expected to bring further clarity to the situation as the government seeks redress for what they consider owed by the city owners. The details surrounding the compensation claim and the services in question remain undisclosed at this time. There was an ag agreement on how services are to be comp how the government is to be compensated for the services which it provides to the city. There was an agreement when there's a dispute to take them out of arbitration, and the government has decided since we can't get the lines on it, that that's the way forward. So prime ministers have discussed with lawyers about how to take that forward. The sudden change in the government's position adds complexity to an already intricate negotiation process. As the story unfolds, ZNS News will continue to provide updates on this crucial development that could significantly impact the economic landscape of Grand Bahama. Meanwhile, the Honorable Fred Mitchell, who has been outspoken about the Port Authority's performance, acknowledges that the public exchanges may have somewhat strained the relationship between the two entities. However, he expresses confidence that the arbitration process will ultimately resolve any lingering issues. I think that uh, you, the exchanges which have taken place in public, that essentially uh, the, the uh, sheriffs have that they're not going to respond favorably. So that I guess there was no point in moving along that track. So uh, another attempt is being made to move the project forward by the um, idea of arbitration.